A tracheostomy tube is a medical device which acts as an artificial airway. It is inserted directly into the trachea through a surgically created hole called a stoma. Breathing is done mostly through the tracheostomy tube and bypasses the upper airway. When breathing in, air travels through the tracheostomy tube and down to the lungs. When breathing out, air travels from the lungs up the respiratory tract and out through the tracheostomy tube. Although tracheostomy tubes come in many different shapes and sizes, the parts of the tracheostomy tube are nearly universal. On some tracheostomy tubes, there is a balloon-like feature on the distal end of the tracheostomy tube. This is called a cuff. The balloon can be inflated or deflated. When the cuff is inflated, all the inhaled and exhaled air enters and leaves the respiratory tract via the tracheostomy tube. Cuff tracheostomy tubes are most often used during mechanical ventilation. The purpose of the cuff on the tracheostomy tube is to create a sealed circuit. An inflated cuff closes off the airway so that the breaths being given by the ventilator are delivered directly to the lungs. If the cuff is deflated, part of the delivered breath escapes around the tracheostomy tube and out the nose and mouth. An uncuffed or cuffless tracheostomy tube does not have the balloon-like feature at the end of the tube. The tracheostomy tube cannot be inflated or deflated. When an uncuffed tracheostomy tube is in place, the airflow will be similar to that of a deflated, cuffed tracheostomy tube. Air will flow in and out of the tracheostomy tube and will go to the lungs. But air may also leak around the tracheostomy tube and will travel through the upper airway. A tracheostomy tube can be removed and reinserted without the need to undergo a procedure. A tracheostomy tube can have an inner cannula. If the tracheostomy tube becomes clogged with mucus, the inner cannula can be removed to clear the tracheostomy tube of the mucus plug. A tracheostomy tube can be suctioned. If changing the inner cannula and suctioning do not get rid of the mucus plug, the tracheostomy tube can be removed, the plug can be cleared, and the tracheostomy tube can be reinserted. If the tracheostomy tube needs to be changed to a different size, a different size tracheostomy tube can be inserted without the need of undergoing a procedure. The tracheostomy tube requires the use of tracheostomy tube ties or a tracheostomy tube holder to keep the tracheostomy tube in place. The end of the tracheostomy tube must be covered when showering. Since breathing is done via the tracheostomy tube, the cold, dry room air can dehydrate the airway and cause mucus plugging. The airway must be kept moist by using various methods such as a heat and moisture exchanger, a cool mist tray collar, a heated humidifier, or a nebulizer. Using a tracheostomy tube may make speaking more difficult. With the tracheostomy tube in place, air can enter and leave the respiratory tract via the tracheostomy tube. Very little air will travel up the airway and through the vocal cords. Using a tracheostomy tube will disrupt the normal airflow, which will make it difficult for a person with a tracheostomy tube to speak. One solution to help a person with a tracheostomy tube speak is a device called a speaking valve. A speaking valve is a one-way valve which is attached to a tracheostomy tube or is used in line with a ventilator and tracheostomy tube. The valve opens when a person breathes in through the tracheostomy tube. When the person breathes out, the valve closes. The closed valve prevents air from being exhaled through the tracheostomy tube. Instead, air is forced up the airway through the vocal cords and out the nose and mouth. This allows the person to speak. Speaking valves also help a person cough and clear his throat. Moreover, having an indwelling medical device increases the risk for developing a biofilm. Biofilms are highly resistant to antibiotics and can be very hard to get rid of. Additionally, the tracheostomy tube disrupts the way the immune system functions, which can lead to an increased number of infections. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye!